Hello DMC family, my name is Alex, I'm from the Floodgates Ministry and I'm here to share with you some reflections. But first, let me share with you an incident. Some time ago, while I was having lunch with a few non-Christian colleagues, the topic of our weekend plans had come up and I must have mentioned something about attending church that weekend which startled my colleagues. They were startled because up until that point, they did not know I was a Christian. These were colleagues whom I've worked with for about six months and I guess it should have bothered me that they don't know I was a Christian, but somehow in that moment, I disregarded it. Sometime later, my devotion came across Jesus' teaching in chapter 15 of the book of John. There, Jesus had instructed us Christians to be in the world, but not of the world. John chapter 15 verse 19 reads, If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. On this matter, Jesus was making the point that as Christians, we are called to obey a higher standard than the world around us. And as I mouth on this concept of being called to obey a higher moral standard of being in the world, but not of the world, I realized that the key to effective evangelism starts from this premise. You see, important as it may be, for us to outrightly share the gospel, it is also important, if not more, how we live our lives. And I'm reminded of that old chestnut you see on kindergarten walls that says, more is learned seen than heard. And I cannot help but to find this relevant to children and adults alike. There is little use if we merely preach the gospel, but live the life that is contrary to what we preach. My brothers and sisters, how we live our lives matter. As Christians, we are ambassadors of Christ and should live our lives reflecting this higher standard, living as salt and light of the world. This is even more so as the current pandemic grips the nation. With lockdowns, MCOs and circuit breakers, how the church and how we as Christians respond has come under tremendous scrutiny. Whilst we may be justified in our critique of the government's handling of the pandemic, have we paused to check how we are handling it personally? As Christians, have we raised the bar for civic consciousness and have we played a responsible role in curbing the spread of the virus? Or have we just been too preoccupied criticizing the government and interpreting SOPs to our convenience? Have we been fervently praying for the nation's recovery or have we been fervently watching the borders only so that we can vote for a vacation when the ban is lifted. My friends, now more than ever, we need God's wisdom to know how to respond to the pandemic and play an exemplary role as a beacon of hope for the nation. The motivation to observe this higher standard is not for the admiration of those around us, but if by God's grace we do this right, those around us would definitely see something different about us. They will see Christ in us. Now, coming back to that story of that lunch I had with my colleagues, I realize now the fact that they did not know I was a Christian was indeed a warning sign. See, in their eyes, I was not that different and very much one of them. I was neither saltier nor brighter. Evidently, I had some repenting to do and this was my cue to self-examination and prayer. But how about you, my brothers and sisters? Are you living your life different from the world. You are certainly in the world, but are you also of the world? And are you being the salt and light which Jesus has called you to? And do those around you see Christ in you? I pray that as we reflect, God will continue to nurture the posture of our hearts and the way we live our lives to be His true salt and light in the world. Let us pray. Almighty Father, many a time we have fallen short of the standards that Jesus has called us to and have failed to be effective salt and light in the communities. Forgive us, Father, of our shortcomings. Grant us, O Lord, your wisdom and tenacity to uphold Christ's likeness. And we pray that the aroma of Christ will permeate through our lives so that through us, your humble servants, more and more are drawn to you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen。